All right, what's going on guys? Kevin with Freedom Coins here. Today we're doing another dime hunt. So as you guys have probably been watching my channel, the dimes have been absolutely crazy. We've been finding a bunch of silver dimes. So these have been fantastic videos. So everybody stay tuned. Um, we keep doing some more dime videos until we run out of silver. Uh, my biggest thing is my bank's only getting brand new half dollars in. So right now halves have been a little bit slow. So we are doing dimes. All right. You guys know the deal. What we're going to do is we're going to open these one roll at a time. We'll go through both of them and I'll let you know if we find anything crazier or any silver. My son's going to help me out today. Um, so it might be a little crazy of a video, but don't worry, guys. We should find some silver. At least I hope so. So anyway, he's got the first roll. We're going to open that up and we'll bring in when we find silver. guys here we go i have no idea how many rolls were in we're maybe half a box in and check it out we're gonna have our first find of the box right here that is silver it looks kind of old too so i'm hoping a mercury dime nope a 1953 roosevelt so 90 percent silver it's not in the best condition whatsoever but hey silver is silver and we have found our first one 1953 so one silver out of our first box here we're going to keep hunting and hopefully we can add to our silver finds right there all right guys we are i don't know about halfway through this box now um i laid all these coins out i didn't see anything um it's tough to see, but that one right there, it's dirty, and so I missed it right away. But when I laid these all out, I was able to find that, this one right here. So this one right here is going to be a 1961. So that is gonna be a 90% silver dime. I almost missed it. Um, I checked the edges of all these coins, but then I also dumped them out like this, just to double check on all of my dates. So right now, guys, we have two. Now we're missing one, but we have two. <laughs> now we have zero. But guys, we have two silver dimes. The hunt's going great. Uh, stay tuned and we'll find some more. All right, we are done with box number one. About to start on box number two. So I wanted to give you all a quick update. Uh, one box, we had this 61, and then the other was our 1953. So we did have two silvers in that one box. Pretty good start. Uh, let's just hope for two in this box. I'm gonna grab one of these babies here. Let's open them and let's find some more silver. All right, guys, I know I promised it to be a two box hunt, but in the two boxes, we only found two silver dimes. So I figured what the heck, the people need better content. So I went ahead and grabbed two more boxes of dimes. And I think I'm on, I don't know, roll number eight or so. And we are gonna have silver in this roll. You can clearly see this one right here as silver. Um, so we'll open that up and take a look. And it's going to be an absolute beautiful 1964. So a really nice 1964, that's gonna be 90% silver. It's got some really nice shine to it. So great, great silver dime for us. Um, we will add that to our finds pile and we're on three silvers and we're hoping for more. All right, everyone, I'm on about roll 15 of this box of my half dollar hunt. And check this out. We have some old looking silver right there. You guys can kind of see it. I hope the lighting's good right there off my finger. So that is going to be silver. And it's a mercury dime, a 1943 silver mercury dime. Absolutely incredible. Look at that. That's beautiful. Right there. All right, guys, that is, that's pretty awesome. We have four silver dimes currently, a beautiful 1964, a mercury dime, and then two nice Roosevelt. So four silver dimes with plenty of rolls to go. Not too many rolls after I just found a mercury silver dime. We have more old silver. Look at this one. That one right here. That one's gonna be old as well, hopefully. Nope, it's a Roosevelt, but it is silver. Um, it's gonna be a 1958, so a 1958 silver dime. That's not in amazing shape, but 
it's still pretty good. Let's see if I can get a better view for you guys. Come on, focus. There we go, 1958. All right, that puts us at five silver dimes with more than half a box to go. I've had a bit of a dry spell for probably the last 20 or so rolls, but I think I keep saying old silver, but I'm really hoping this one's old. Um, right here, that one looks pretty worn down. You can see it in the light there. So let's see. Nope, another Roosevelt silver dime. So this one is going to be a 1947. So actually, it is pretty darn old. Uh, 1947, that's pretty, pretty old. Uh, it's always fun to find. So 1947D mint mark. And we will add that right here. That puts us at six total. These aren't silver. That puts us at six total silver dimes with hopefully more to come. All right, I have 10 rolls to go in this box. And look at this. We're gonna have more silver right here. That one's gonna be silver for sure. And it's going to be, drum roll please, a 1962 Roosevelt dime. So that one's a pretty good find. 1962, no mint mark on the back, but still, that's gonna be 90% silver. We'll set that bad boy right here. And now we're up to seven silver dimes in three boxes. Ah, that's pretty darn good. But anyway, I still have 10 more rolls left to go. And then we have this full box, so hopefully we'll find a bunch more. But so far, the hunt's going pretty good. All right, everyone. We are four boxes later, 5,000 dimes later. All of this, and we have seven to show for it, including this one Mercury Dime, pretty cool. And then also this really nice 1964 Kennedy. So I gotta say, seven dimes and four boxes, um, that's definitely a win. I will take that every day of the week. So definitely a good, definitely a good hunt. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Like I said, I haven't been able to get halves in my area. So looks like hunting silver dimes is the new norm for now. But if you guys keep liking the content, I will keep posting it. So anyway, guys, Thanks for watching. As you guys know the deal, stay free, stay tuned. I'll see you guys on the next one.